Conrad, the Republican leadership race turns to Mississippi and Alabama. Who is feeling the pressure? <laughs> Newt's feeling the pressure, obviously. Um, that's that's basically all he has left right now in terms of those are the only places where he's actually polling competitively. The pressure is really on him to get out of the race. And if he doesn't finish on top in, the, uh, in those states, then obviously it only gets stronger. You know, Mitt Romney, for him, the magic number is still reaching, you know, the 1144, the, the number of delegates he needs to clinch the nomination. You know, what are the challenges he's still facing? Well, I mean, oh, God. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> because we have no idea. Um, okay. Well, I mean, Mitt Romney obviously understands that he has yet to capture the imagination of Republicans. I mean, his people held a strategy session in Boston the other day. Um, going through the math, they've tried to make it clear that it's mathematically impossible for anyone else to win this nomination, but that didn't satisfy either the donors or the journalists. Unfortunately, I mean, it's going to take a while for him to amass the number of delegates he needs. Um, the next really big day in the primary contest, contest is April 24th, when a number of uh, northeastern states vote, including New York. He can't win the nomination that day, but historically, when you get that big of an advance in delegates, it really effectively ends the race. Do you mean to say that we're going to be talking about this in April? Ah, uh, we'll probably be talking about this at least until June 5th when California votes, because that's probably technically the first day that Mitt Romney can actually get over that hump of 1144.